Hello everyone, Jeff the Greener View. Sometimes people notice rows and rows of holes in the trunks of their trees. And that leaves, of course, the question, what caused it? Well, we have three things that cause problems in plants, insects, disease, and everything else. Well, it would be an awfully organized insect if it made rows and rows of holes. Maybe ants or something could be that organized, I guess. Diseases don't usually cause holes like this, and they don't uh, cause uh, patterns like this. They do cause a lot of patterns that are recognizable, but not like this. This leads us to the everything else category. In this case, the yellow-bellied sapsucker. Now you may have heard the yellow-bellied sapsucker words being used as a derogatory comment to somebody, but actually it's probably a compliment. This is a very smart and organized woodpecker. Now they're on the eastern two-thirds of the country from the Rocky Mountains east um, and into the far north. The uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker uh, lives in those areas. The red-bellied, the uh, no, I'm sorry, the red-breasted, the red-naped, and the Williamson sapsuckers all live in the western Rocky Mountains and along the Pacific Coast areas. So these four sapsuckers are unique among many birds because they actually do sap, su suck sap. Um, but that's not the only thing that they eat because they're woodpeckers, they eat insects. And insects are attracted to sap. So as they drill these holes, they get some nutrition from the sap and then they eat the insects that are also attracted. Now in the winter time, the yellow-bellied sapsucker migrates farther south to the southern part of the United States, uh, Central America, and the Caribbean. And so it does um, get into warmer areas, but it still goes after trees that uh, are growing somewhat. So a lot of times they'll be on uh, evergreen trees instead of on deciduous trees. They do like smoother barked trees. They like uh, birches and poplars and maples. In this case, this is an apple tree. They do like fruit trees. So they're getting the sap uh, from these trees because it's easy to get into there. So they're not very often found on thicker uh, tree trunks uh, with, you know, oaks or something that would have a thicker layer of bark on there. So they, it's a uh, fun bird to find uh, in your landscape. So if you uh, notice that the holes are starting to leak, uh, then there's, those are fresh holes. And the sapsucker might be something that you can look for in, um, during that time. If they're dried up holes like this, then the sapsucker is not around right now. Um, in this part of the country where I'm at right now, they migrate through here in the spring and fall, but they don't spend the summer or winter here. And so uh, these holes are just put in while they're in, in migration. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is uh, noticed by black and white stripes through the face. The male has red on top of the head, and they have a black and white line vertically down the side of the wing. So as they're on the side of the tree trunk, it's a vertical line on the front of the edge of the wing. Uh, the yellow part of the yellow-bellied sapsucker is a very pale yellow and really only noticeable if you're kind of holding them or if they're flying overhead because uh, the belly is against the tree trunk and so it's really not something that's visible most of the time and not something that you would notice very easily. So what's this mean to me? If you find these holes on your tree, uh, you have an interesting woodpecker to, to investigate, see if you can find. Um, otherwise, there's nothing really to worry about. They don't usually cause too much damage. It is possible uh, on, a, on a tree where there's a lot of holes and where they've really gone all the way around several times that they can do enough damage to uh, kill trees. They uh, can uh, kill tree trunks uh, in, in uh, forested areas where there's a lot of trees. They might do some damage and then uh, they use those trees later as uh, nesting sites uh, as those trees begin to decay. But usually in the landscape situation, they don't cause enough harm to worry about. And this is Jeff with The Greener View. Thanks.